Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to design and create your own custom manhole cover. I provided this PSD template for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in this video's description or project files. If you don't see the guidelines that I already set up, press Ctrl or Command H. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Custom Shape tool and choose Pixels. Open your Custom Shapes. Click the Gear icon to open your Shape Presets and click Symbols. When you see this message, click OK to replace your current shapes with the shapes from Symbols. Click this shape, which is called Registration Target 2. Click the gear icon at the top and make sure Define Proportions is ticked and From Center is checked. Place your cursor on the center of the guidelines and drag out the shape to the edge of the manhole cover. Then release. Click the New Layer icon and open your elliptical marquee tool. Go to the center and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a selection approximately this size. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 10 pixels and tick Outside. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Control click or command click the thumbnail of the ring to make a selection of its shape. Drag the ring layer to the trash since we now have its selection. Press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the area inside the selection. Deselect it by pressing control or command D. Click the new layer icon to make a new layer. Go to the center of the guidelines, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift, and drag out another circular selection approximately this size. As before, go to Edit and Stroke. This time, make the width 15 or 20 pixels. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. As before, Control click or Command click the thumbnail of the ring to make a selection of its shape. Then trash the ring layer. Delete the area inside the selection and then deselect it. Using the same steps, make one more ring, this time with a width of 20 or 30 pixels. Go to the center and drag out a selection approximately this size. Delete the area inside the selection and deselect it. Create a new layer and drag out another circular selection approximately this size. Go to Edit and Stroke. This time, click Inside and make the width 5 pixels. Then deselect it. Create a new layer and using the same steps, make an inner ring approximately this size. Name the top layer Inner Ring and the layer below it Outer Ring. Make layer 1 active. We're going to erase these four shapes and eventually replace them with holes. Open your eraser tool and open your eraser picker. Make the size 15 pixels and the hardness, opacity, and flow 100%. In this row, erase the left, right, top, and bottom shapes. Next, we'll place text on a circular path between the two rings. First, Make the top layer active 
and make a new layer above it. Open your Ellipse tool and choose Path. Go to the center and press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circular path a little past the inner ring. Open your Horizontal Type tool and pick a font. I'm using Agency FB Bold. If you'd like to use it as well, I provided its link in this video's description or project files. I'll make its size approximately 18 points, smooth, and center alignment. Go to the path, and when you see that your cursor has a curvy line in the center, left click your mouse or pen and type out your text. We want to move our text so the bottom of it is flush with the path. To do this, highlight your text and go to Window and Character to open the Character panel. Make the baseline shift zero points. Now, the bottom of your text should be aligned with the path. To adjust the space between the characters, drag the tracking icon to the left or right. To rotate the text, click below the first character and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. To type in a line at the bottom, click your Move tool and open your Paths panel. If you don't see the panel, go to Window and Paths. Click Work Path and open back the Layers panel. Press T to open back your Type tool, and when you see the same icon, type out your text. Most likely it'll be upside down. To make it right side up, open your Direct Selection tool, and when your cursor has two black arrows in the middle, Drag your text above the path. To move your text so the top of it is flush with the path, press T to open back your Type tool and drag it over your text to highlight it. Drag the Baseline Shift icon to the right or left until the top of your text is flush with the path. Open your Move tool. Next, I'll place an icon in the center. If you want, you can type in text instead. If you choose an icon, make sure it's simple and one color. If there's a background, you'll need to remove it. I've covered how to do this in many of my tutorials. To place it onto your manhole document, press Ctrl or Command A to select it, and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open your manhole document and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the icon onto it. To resize it to fit inside the inner ring, Use your Transform tool. Name your icon or text. We can close the character panel now since we don't need it anymore. To save space in the Layers panel, let's place all the design elements that comprise the manhole design into a folder. To do this, Shift click layer 1 to make all these layers active and press Ctrl or Command G. Reduce the fill to 0%. Doing this makes all the layers in the folder invisible, but it'll retain the full visibility of all the effects that we'll be adding to the layers inside the folder. Double click the folder to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. Make the style Inner Bevel, the Technique Chisel Hard, and the Direction Up. The size is 6 pixels, the angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. The Highlight Mode is Linear Dodge, with an opacity of 35%. The Shadow Mode is Multiply, and its opacity is 70%. Click Outer Glow. The Blend Mode is Color Burn, the opacity is 40%, and the color is Black. 
The technique is precise, and the spread and size are both 15%. Click Drop Shadow. The blend mode is Linear Burn, the color is black, and the opacity is 25%. Uncheck Global Light and make the angle 145 degrees. The distance is 6 pixels, and the size is 4 pixels. Then click OK. Next, we'll add the holes. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Elliptical Marquee tool and go to the center of the left space that you erased earlier. Drag out a circular selection approximately this size. Fill the selection with any color. I'll fill it with black. Then deselect it. Reduce the fill to 0% and place your cursor on Effects. Press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a copy of the effects to the thumbnail above it. Double-click Bevel and Emboss and change the direction to Down. Uncheck Drop Shadow. Then click OK. Control click or command click the thumbnail of the left hole to make a selection of its shape. Open your zoom tool and drag over the hole to zoom into it. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and drag in the selection to the point where the bevel begins. Then press Enter or Return. Make a new layer and fill the selection with black. Then deselect it. To fit the document back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Place the two top layers into a folder using the same steps that you used earlier. Name it Left Hole and make a copy of it. Name this layer Right Hole. Press V to open your Move tool and press and hold Shift as you drag the hole straight across to the center of the space you erased on the right. Make a copy and name it Top Hole. Drag it to the space at the top. Again, make a copy of it and name this one Bottom Hole. As before, press and hold Shift as you drag the hole straight down to the space at the bottom. If you'd like to increase the size of the graphic, text, and rings in the center, first, let's place all the whole folders into one folder and then name it. Open the folder below it and scroll down to Layer 1. Click Layer 1 to make it active. Open your Elliptical Marquee tool, go to the center, and drag out a selection a bit past the first set of radial shapes. Press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete them. Then deselect it. Click the outer ring to make it active, scroll up, and shift-click the top icon or text to make it active as well as all the layers in between. Open your Transform tool and drag out the graphics to enlarge them. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.